So I want to revisit shear and moment diagrams using distributed loads. So here I have a beam. It is going to be 8 meters long, and it has an applied load of 1.5 newton meters. Um, and it's simply supported with a pin on the left-hand side and a roller on the right-hand side. So the first step we're, we're calculating our distributed loads is to draw a free body diagram and calculate the reaction forces. Well, since this is 8 meters, we have a total force of 12 newtons, and that's going to be equally supported by the pin and the roller. So we have 6 newtons on either side. Now, it's important to remember anytime we have a point load applied to the beam, we're going to have a discontinuity in our shear and our moment diagram. And anytime we have a single applied moment to the beam, we're going to have a discontinuity in our moment diagram. So let's draw the shear diagram. I'll make my plot. To do this, the easiest way is to take a cut of the beam and look at the left hand side of the beam. So I'll draw this over here on this side. We have a cut of width x. We have our 6 newton force on the right hand side. We have our shear, our normal force, which in this example is 0, and our moment that's at the cut. We also have whatever distributed load exists over that cut. In this case, it's 1.5 newtons per meter. So if we wanted to calculate a function for the shear in the beam, we could use the sum of the forces in the y direction and set that equal to 0. So we have 6 newtons minus the shear minus 1.5 newtons per meter times x, which is the width of our cut. And so in this case, our shear is equal to one point, negative 1.5x plus 6 newtons. So let's plot that. We start with our discontinuity. If we look at our boundary condition on the left hand side, we start up here at 6 newtons. Our shear has a negative slope, so it decreases linearly, zero at the midpoint of the beam, should redraw that. Zero at the midpoint of the beam, and then jumps back up six newtons at the end of the beam. So our shear moment, our shear looks like a linear function going downward. But also to think about this distributed load, and if we're thinking about the shear being the integral of the forces in the right directions, we'll get the same answer. So again, if the shear is the integral as we move from 0 to x of um, the forces in the y direction with respect to x. Here we have a constant load between the two supports um, and so we have is equal to the integral of negative 1.5 dx and so our answer is going to be our shear is going to be negative 1.5 x plus c where this constant of integration is determined by our boundary condition on the left hand side of the beam. In this case, at x equals 0, our shear is 6 newtons, and so our c is 6 newtons. Alright, so now we also like to look at the moment diagram. So we'll draw our graph for the moment diagram underneath the shear diagram and let's calculate the moment using our, our cut that we made earlier. So we have this, um, if we do the sum of the moments in the y direction, oops, not in the y direction, if we do the sum of the moments at the cut, we'll have our 6 newton force times x, we'll have are 1.5 newton per meter over x meters and that's going to be acting halfway between x and the support so x over 2 
And then we also have our moment at the cut. And all this is equal to zero. And so our total moment at the cut is going to be equal to negative 1.5x squared over 2 minus 6x and our units are Newton meters. So this is going to be a parabolic function. The maximum occurs in the middle of the beam and again we can also look at this as the integral of the shear diagram. So if we take the integral a shear is one point is negative one point five x plus six dx. And we're looking at the moment at the cut. Then our inner then our moment at, at our cut is going to be negative one point five x squared over two plus six x plus a constant of integration. Now here our moment at our left hand side, our boundary condition is zero, and so that constant integration is also zero, so we don't have to worry about it. And our units are newtons times meters. So just remember to be wary. Um, this works, but you'll have to come up with separate functions between different applied loads. So if we have an applied load or an applied moment, we're going to have a discontinuity in our shear or moment diagrams.